Hello everyone. I welcome you all to this lesson. Today I am going to discuss on the topic beech leaves which is composed by James Reeves. So here I begin and before that let me ask you have you subscribed to my channel? If you have not subscribed up till now then please do and watch the video till end and press the like button if you have liked my video also don't forget to press the bell icon so now let us start with the poem beech leaves composed by james reeves in this lesson i will discuss line by line explanation word meaning moral theme and conclusion of the poem first of all i will discuss i the title of the poem let us justify the title of the poem beech leaves in this poem beech leaves means they are typically typically oblong or oval and medium to dark glossy green in color they are between 3 to 6 inches long with saw toothed edges beech can signify the death or end of something but also stands for the changes that arise through realization since its gift is the revelation of experience beech suggests you you should cross the threshold that is challenging you gain experience from the unknown seek revelation and increase your knowledge the poet says beech leaves or the beech forest are a spectacular of nature and it is quite an amazing and beautiful experience walking through them in autumn when the leaves have turned brown and a thick carpet of crispy and fallen leaves rests under your feet hence the title of the poem is justified now a brief description about the poet james reeves the real name of james reeves was john morris a british writer known for his poetry he was born on 1st July 1909 and died on 1st May 1978. He had also written plays and contributed to children, literature and the literature of the collected traditional songs. His famous works were complete poems for children. The Christmas Book, Ragged Robin, The Wandering Moon, etc. He was a 20th century British poet, dramatist, children's author and a literary critic. He was a famous American country singer and song writer. Not only this, he was an English presenter, journalist, radio presenter, an American boxer, a regular football expert and many more. He was very talented and an all-rounder. Now children, a brief description about the poem Beech Leaves. Beech leaves are of four types. The Robel and Antarctic beaches produce alternating leaves that overlap, giving the impression of hearing bone pattern all produce fall color except the drombe's leaves southern beech which is everyone which is evergreen in color the leaves of the american and the robal beech leaf may change color in the fall that is bronze or yellow for the american and red gold or orange for the robal and they remain green before shedding the foliage of the antarctic beech changes 
टू ब्रॉन्च और गोल्डन वेन दे फॉल ऑल फोर टाइप्स हैव मॉडरेटली डेंस फॉलिएज एंड आर यूजफुल एज शेड ट्रीज द लीव्स ऑफ द बीच ग्रो हॉरिजोंटली कवरिंग एंड प्रोटेक्टिंग द स्मॉल एनिमल्स दैट यूज देयर नट्स एज फूड इट प्रोड्यूसेज वॉम ग्रीन लाइट विच एमिने विच एमिट्स from their foliage in this poem the poet is having fun and wants a bash around in a noisy way he is crashing through leaves and waves and making animals nervous the poet loves nature and appreciate it even on a daring adventure and joyful adventure he is brave and merry birch leaves birch tree leaves emerge lying green in spring unfolding like fans and cover in silvery silky hairs they turn dark green in summer and vib and vibrant copper in autumn young beech tree leaves whole leaves all winter Now let us start with the first stanza and the lines are in autumn down the beech wood path the leaves lie thick upon the ground it's there i love to kick my way and hear the crisp and crashing sound now the word meaning autumn means the season after summer and before winter in the northern hemisphere from september to november and in the southern hemisphere from march to may beech leaves are typically oblong or oval and medium to dark glossy green leaves thick means broad or dense ground means the solid surface of the earth kick means to strike crisp refers to firm dry or brittle or crunchy crashing means loud noise made when thing break or fall dashing or smashing now the explanation of the first stanza in this stanza the poet has beautifully described about the autumn season saying autumn dresses up in gold the richest season of the soul autumn impresses changes even as she is falling to pieces in autumn down the beech wood path the leaves like thick upon the ground in this line the poet is walking down the forest of beech wood path where he is walking alone and is appreciating the beauty of nature as it is the season of autumn so the leaves are lying down on the ground the leaves have a subtle magic in falling one of the greatest in falling down on the ground the leaves have a subtle magic in falling one of the greatest lessons the fall of the leaf teaches us is that do your work well and then be ready to depart when god shall call you the poet is having fun in walking on the thick bundle of leaves lying down upon the ground it's there i love to kick my way and hear the crisp and crashing sound the poet says his trip down the leafy path is kicking and leaves coming on his way and wants to bash around in a noisy way he is crashing through the leaves this shows that the poet appreciates nature loves the crisp and crash sound of the leaves in this stanza we come to know that the poet is active and interested in dominating the natural world as he kicks his way through the leaves and loving the crashing sound of the leaves so 
This also shows the joyful adventure of the poet through nature and feeling of complete joy towards nature. Now let us start to stanza number 2 and the lines are I am a giant and my steps echo and thunder to the sky. How the small creature of the woods must quack and cower as i pass by now the word meanings giant means a legend and a legend legendary human like being by great stature and strength or a living being of great size eco means a rapid a repetition or imitation of sound thunder refers to the sound that follows a light flash of lightning quick refers to shake tremble or quiver cover means crouch down in fear or crunch now the explanation of the second stanza in this stanza the poet compares himself to a giant as his feet was too big to crash upon many leaves lying beneath the line i am a giant and my steps echo and thunder to the sky when the poet says, speaks this line says this line it shows that he feels to be the in charge of nature by describing himself as a giant and as he walks down on the carpet of leaves making a crispy and crunchy sound that is noisy sound is compared to the sound made by light made by the leaves lightning in the sky that is noisy sound is compared to the sound made by lightning in the sky so the poet asserts his authority over the nature the leaves the lo- the l- loud sound of the footsteps is made when the poet walks on the leaves the poet feels that he is a giant because the fallen leaves are too small as compared to his feet or giants are known for terrorizing other creatures and the poet steps down upon the outdoor upon the outdoor as a powerful creature on the leaves the line how the small creature of the wood must quick and go as i pass by <clears throat> in this line the poet says that he, in this line the poet says that he uses the words like small creature quick and cover shows that he has or attributes or wants to be a dominating force in nature both quake and cover suggest the fear someone feels in the presence of a powerful ruler the small creatures of the woods refers to the animals living in beech forest so the poet is crashing through the leaves and scaring the animals as there is a loud sound made by the leaves as they are dried and so when the poet walks on it it makes a loud sound the crunchy and crispy sound now the third and the last stanza and the lines are this brave and merry noise i make in summer also when i stride down to the shining pebble sea and kick the frothing waves aside now the word meaning brave means courageous or fearless merry noise means a sound or sight which makes you feel cheerful stride means walk with long decisive steps in the specified directions or determined steps shining means climb together up or down by gripping with the with one end arms and legs that is to climb something like a rope or pole that is shining 
pebbly sea means a pebble is a small smooth round stone which is found on the beaches and at the bottom of the river so pebbly sea means refers to the stone found in the sea frothing refers to bubble foam or rise in the soft light mass waves means which moves loosely to and fro a side means to one side or out of the way now the explanation of the third and the last stanza in this stanza the poet says that forces the poet says that the forces it is a wonderful experience walking in the beech forest especially in autumn when the leaves have turned brown and a thick carpet of crispy and fallen leaves rest under his feet under such circumstances the poet walks courageously making a happy noise crushing the leaves under his feet which gives him a feeling of joy into the lap of nature as the dry leaves makes a scrunching sound the line this brave and merry noise i make in summer also when i stride the poet is very brave and is walking through the forest on the carpet of autumn leaves and the sound made by the crushing leaves gives him lot of joy so the poet is on a daring and joyful adventure through nature in summer season also the poet walks on these carpet of fallen leaves with long steps to enjoy the beauty of nature the line down to the shining pebbly sea and kick the frothing waves aside the poet says that when he walks down quickly up and down through the pebbles of the sea then the bubbles made by the waves of the sea is kicked by him to the other side those bubbles or waves which comes on his way the poet kicks them to the other side the line kicks the frothing waves aside shows that the poet has an attitude of dominating nature crushing and interactive cr- crushing and interactive towards nature also he is a lover of nature and praises the beauty of nature as one says this is a very famous quote children beauty lies in the eyes of beholder so the person who is looking at the beauty beauty he has full he can appreciate that natural beauty in his own words so was the poet he just he was mesmerized by the beauty he had seen in the beech forest now let us do the poetic devices let's see which all poetic devices are used in this poem number 1 rhyming scheme the poem does not follow a regular pattern of rhyming scheme in the first stanza second stanza and the rhyming scheme is in, in and the rhyming scheme is a b c b and the words from the stanza are path around ground way and sound in the second stanza follows the pattern of rhyming scheme of a b a b and the words from the poem are steps sky woods and by the third stanza follows the rhyming scheme of a a b b a and the words from the stanza are make stride see and aside so children what we have seen that not a regular pattern of rhyming scheme is followed in the first and the second stanza of the poem all the three stanza is having a different pattern of rhyming scheme number 2 is alliteration alliteration is the repetition of consonant sound into or more closely placed words this is called alliteration the instances of alliteration in the stanza is 
द क्रिस्प एंड क्रैसिंग साउंड हुज वेयर सी साउंड इज रिपीटेड मेटाफर अ मेटाफर इज अ फिगर ऑफ स्पीच दैट डिस्क्राइब्स एन ऑब्जेक्ट और एक्शन इन अ वे दैट इज इन लिटरली ट्रू बट हेल्प्स टू एक्सप्लेन एन आइडिया और मेक अ कंपेरिजन द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ मेटाफर इज सीन इन द सेकेंड स्टैंड दैट इज आई एम अ जायट विच मीन्स द पोएट इज नॉट अ जायट बट टू बिग बिग एज कंपेयर टू द लीव्स नंबर फोर इज इमेजरी द पोएट यूज इज बोथ विजुअल एज वेल एज ऑडिटरी इमेजरी इन द होल पोएम नाउ द कंक्लूजन ऑफ द पोएम This is a beautiful poem in which the poet has actively participated in a daring and joyful adventure appreciating the beauty of nature beautiful beyond imagination in god's is god's creation the poet is having fun and wants to bash around in a noisy way he is crashing through he is crashing through the leaves and makes and making animals nervous that is scaring them away in this poem we find that the poet has an attitude of dominating nature when he says he loves to kick and makes his step echo and thunder so other creatures quake and cower he is using images that shows he wants to dominate nature he says he is a giant who kicks the frothing waves aside giants are known for terrorizing other creatures and the poet is stomping through the outdoors as a powerful force he finds that the poet's feelings towards the nature have complete joy through the words luck took love to kick and merry noise the poet loves to be in nature the poet's interaction with nature seems to be a conqueror when the words like small creature quick with cover kick frothing the waves aside the poet's feeling of nature inspires in them and feels powerful in nature when we read the line i am a giant so the poet is an active participant and feels that he is more powerful than nature he is on a daring crushing interactive dominating and joyful adventure through nature the line he kicks his way through the leaves loving the crashing sound shows that the poet is active and interested in dominating the natural world the words echo and thunder quick and cover are the words of a conqueror ruling over nature he wants to hear his steps echo and thunder and enjoy how the small creature quake and cover as he walks by even in the water kicking the frothing waves he is like an powerful person poisidens which means the lord of the earth the con- in control of the angry waves all the human residing on the beautiful unique planet earth should understand their responsibility to protect and conserve the beauty of the earth and its creature that is god's creation now children i'll tell you the theme of the poem number 1 beauty of nature The young beech leaves are soft and delicate and almost glow with green color announcing the spring during the spring season the leaves are folded or rolled they fold along the central rib these soft tender leaves are edible they have slightly sweet and sour taste as they age they are of a great tree they are a great tree to watch any time of the year and the leaves are amazing in all seasons so the poet has described about the leaf of these beautiful birch trees they are really amazing number 2 valuable 
The beech leaves are very valuable as it can be used for medicinal purposes, serving as a remedy for variety of aches and illness. The leaves contain a substance effective of ulcers and reducing the inflammation or dysentery. Number three, adventurous and joyful in the autumn season. When the leaves turn brown and thick carpet of crispy and fallen leaves rests on the ground, the noise made while walking on these leaves gives the poet adventurous and joyful feeling as he recites into the lap of nature. Number 4. Symbolism The beech leaves along with its tree is considered to be sacred and pious. The poet considers himself fortunate to walk through the forest on these fallen leaves and thinks himself to be very powerful as he is enjoying the nature's beauty. Now the moral of the poem. The moral of the poem Beech Leaf is that nature does not hurry but everything is accomplished. Everything has a purpose, so we should value everything, the best thing, truly and fierce, so one must enjoy the beauty of nature. Nature is colorful, a proud source of everything. Whatever we have, whether directly or processed, everything is provided to us by nature, love, joy wealth, happiness, energy, food, water, clothing, shelter, etc. are all given to us by nature. The beech trees are believed to enhance the creativity and to pertain to wisdom and written records. The end of something, the fall of the leaves of the beech during Autumn signify the death or the end of something, but also stands for the changes that arise through realization, since its gift is the revelation of experience and increase your knowledge. Autumn leaves fall but always rise again. One of the greatest lessons the fall of the leaf teaches us do, to do your work well and then be ready to depart when God shall call us. So dear children, with these words I end my lesson. Do like, share and subscribe my channel. Hope this lesson will be beneficial for you in your study. Thank you.